Well, hello everybody. What's going hello, on? Hello, welcome to welcome. another Victory Group. Mm -hmm. We are so glad that you're here. So glad that you are yes. in group, whether this is your first time, whether you've been yes. coming multiple times. Thank you, thank you for being provision for the vision. Small yes. groups is how we stay smaller yes. as our church constantly gets larger. Mm -hmm. Well, let's roll. Let's dive in. If mm -hmm. you don't know, we've been in this wonderful fall brand new teaching entitled Strategies mm -hmm. for Excellent Living. And this has been a phenomenal, phenomenal teaching. One of the things that's reinforced in the foundation scripture, Philippians 3, Paul says that if as a believer we don't understand mm -hmm. what God has called us to, he will reveal it to yes. us. And so that strategy, God is all into you having a strategy so you can live the way he's called you to live. Yes. Now, we said strategies for excellent living is something specific. So what did we say? Can you read that? What did we say? Yes, we said that strategies for excellent living is talking about a plan to excel at being the best you can be in life. The best you can be in life. And we've reinforced, man, that th there's more in you to mm -hmm. give. You have more in you to give to your family, to give to your, you know, your career, to give to your calling, to give to the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. There's so much more. And one of the most frustrating things been for us down through the years is to see a person who could really do more, mm -hmm. be more, obtain more, but they settle for this mediocrity, yeah. you know, and, and just kick back and Sarah, Sarah. But God has called you to an awesome thing. Mm -hmm. He's called you to purpose. He's called you to accomplish things for his kingdom. Mm -hmm. And we said, the way I get understanding and the knowledge of what God has called me to be is through his word. Yes. His word reinforces what he's called me to be. And that's mm -hmm. important because people make the mistake of letting other people, other things define their potential and their mm -hmm. purpose. But in actuality, nobody is qualified to define what you can do because nobody was there when God created you. Mm -hmm. Nobody was there when God put his potential inside of you. And so you have to understand this, that you and I are capable of doing everything mm -hmm. that God's word says you can do. Yes. That when you discover what God has said in his word about mm -hmm. you, you have to understand that discovery is treasure yes. because it reinforces the fact that you discovered in scripture of what God has said. It means something very specific. Yes. In other words, whenever God gives his word to something, mm -hmm. we found out that God commits his creative power yes. to enable that thing to do what God has yes. called him to do. Yes, yes. For now, I need you to get that. Wrap mm -hmm. your mind around that. In other words, when God created birds mm -hmm. and said birds are to fly, he never says go to flight school. Mm -hmm. it, God's creative power works instinctively on the inside of the bird yes. so that the bird comes out as mama's womb instinctively mm -hmm. being able to fly. Mm -hmm. With fish is the same way. Fish swim mm -hmm. and fish don't go to, to swim school. Where God's creative power works on the inside of the fish so that the fish instinctively knows mm -hmm. it can swim. Mm -hmm. And so it is with you and I. If he did it for the birds yeah. and did it for the fish, God, when God calls calls you to something, mm -hmm. he creatively goes to work on the inside of you and you instinctively have on the inside that you mm -hmm. can do. In other words, you're never satisfied mm -hmm. until you fulfill his purpose. Yeah. Because instinctively you're called to do something and you'll never be satisfied unless you fulfill that thing. Yeah, and you know that's so near and dear to my heart. And so we were just talking about that a little bit even in staff yeah. meeting. Yeah, How when you had, you know, when you had said that, it just reinforced in me, you know, it goes back to even what our... Um, what part of our mission statement yeah. is helping people discover their purpose and yes. their calling. And yes. I remember my first message that I even preached was on creative for purpose. Yes. And when you talk about that God knew our assignment before yeah. he created us, and it takes me back to one of the scriptures that many times I refer back to. Anyway, I think it's uh, uh, James, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 1.5. 1, 5. Yeah. And it talks about God says he knew us yeah. before he Yes. Us. And yes. one of the revelation that God uh, gave to me when that, with that is, well, what did he know? He right. knew our purpose. He knew yeah. our calling. He knew our assignment. He knew our destiny. Yeah. And he determined all those things before he formed That's us awesome. and put us on the planet. That's awesome. And so if God said it, then it doesn't matter what anybody else says. Sure doesn't. Because 
God already knows what he wanted to do in our lives. And he's backed it up with his creative yes. power to help us, enable us, and empower us to, to do, do it. what he's calling us yep. to do. One of the things we said in one of the last lessons is that, you know, testimonies are so important in our yes. lives because they ignite and inspire us. Yes. Because when we hear what God has done in and through the life of another, yes. it lets us know what's possible for us. Mm -hmm. Because God's no respecter of persons. What he does for one in principle, he'll do for anybody. And so God will put you in environments to practice what he's mm -hmm. called you to do. And one of the things in the environment that's conducive for you will be coaches that are there yeah. that will testify to you of what has happened in their life. Mm -hmm. That in other words, their testimony reinforces that where you are, they started there. Yeah. They might not be there now. They might be way ahead of you, mm -hmm. but they didn't start there. When you hear their testimony, mm -hmm. it reinforces one of your favorite scriptures. Yeah, Revelations um, 12, 12 11. 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word mm -hmm. of their testimony. Yeah. And that is so important yeah. because sometimes you you got to get to the place of being able to receive somebody else's testimony yes. in order to know that you can overcome so and true. do what God has called you to do. Yes. But at the same time, you got to be sensitive uh, to the Holy Spirit and knowing when to share your own testimony yes. in order to help possibly, and you never know who you're going to empower. Right. So then they can be able to overcome and do what God has called them to do as well. Yeah, the whole heart of this teaching is all about that we have to make sure that we do our part to get out of you mm -hmm. what's in you, because yes. what's in you is not just for you, yes. it's there to bless my life. So we're not, you know, we're not going to sit stagnant mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. and just let people case sarah sarah and live mediocre lives. No, you're robbing us. We need what's in you. Yes. God put it there, not just to bless you, but to bless our lives. And so yes. God talks about that. He turns around man. And you know, as we're bearing fruit, he'll purge us so that we can bear yeah. more fruit. But I think that gives people probably a newfound appreciation for what I always, my favorite, uh, yes. one of my favorite sayings that is not about you. Yes. It's not about you. I think you can appreciate it more because it's not about you, but it's about what God wants to do in and through you to be a blessing. Yeah, to, to bless my somebody life. Somebody else. Yeah. So sometimes whatever you're going through, whether it's the, and even the purging, it's to help you be all that God has called you to be so that then you can be a blessing to somebody yes. else, which is why it's not really even about you. The devil is intimidating. Yes by purpose getting released in the earth. Mm -hmm. That potential on the inside, he's not intimidated as long as it stays on the inside. Mm -hmm. But if it ever comes out, he knows it's a threat and damaging to his kingdom. Yes. And so what the enemy will do, what we've been talking about lately, is the enemy will try to send people around you that give you these lying truths, mm -hmm. these lying truths. A lying truth, as we started to deal with, is a truth that already exists. But then somebody wants to come around you and lie to you mm -hmm. and tell you what you can't do in the future based upon the mistakes of your past. Mm -hmm. They want you to think that you can't accomplish this because you fell short here. You didn't do this. But that's a lying truth. What God mm -hmm. has for me is for me. Yeah. And his mercy and grace in my life allows me to get up and keep going. And the truth is I can do all, all things, things through, through Christ, Christ which strengthens, strengthens me. me. So we want to make sure we're dealing with now, man, mm -hmm. you listen closely in these lessons that we're teaching in service mm -hmm. that you have a right to overcome any lying any truth somebody talks to you truth. about. Yes. This has been really, really mm -hmm. good, man. Make sure you catch these just messages. We just getting started. <laughs> well, you know, we switched up what we do. We have mm -hmm. some questions we always yes. give you, but we try as much as we can to interject a video. And there is yeah. a video about this queen, Queen Cataway. I'm not, I don't know if I'm saying her name exactly correct. So if I messed her name up, I apologize. But it's about how, man, in spite of what she was facing, in spite of the odds, she was coached on that you are called to be here and you can do this thing. You're going to enjoy this video. So check the video out. And then the questions for today are going to come back up on the screen, the facilitator, a pause it, and everybody involved answering questions. Because, again, what you share, will absolutely help somebody else. Yes, this will. has been great. It's been fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, we always close this way. You can search up, down, low, high, all around. You will discover there's victory only one place in the entire universe. Where is that, Mama? In Christ Jesus. Be blessed. Be blessed.
This is the final round of our Rabusheni National Chess Championship. Fiona Mutesi and Christine Namaganda are tied for first position in the women's category. They will now play the final deciding game. Commence play, please. Belong here. You belong here. Silence. I move out. I'm sorry. She's winning! 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 She's winning!